Hello and welcome to Chuck's Diecast Car and Model Reviews. Today we're taking a look at a model of the Lamborghini Diablo SE30 as made by AutoArt in 118 scale. This is actually a very a nice model here uh, and uh, well of course I'll show you all the details here in a bit but uh, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, Diablo itself. Now the Diablo, of course, is the successor to the, well, I guess you call it a legendary uh, Lamborghini Countach. Um, its design was uh, started in the oh mid to late 80s, and it was designed by Marcello Gandini, who also designed the Countach, and he also designed the Lamborghini Miura. Uh, however, you know, when it came time to actually building the car, by that point, Lamborghini had been bought by Chrysler. And uh, they had some, uh, I guess, misgivings about some of the details of Gandini's design. So, uh, so they modified it themselves, uh, much to the consternation of Mr. Gandini. So, uh, he actually, I don't think he actually decided to take credit for this car. And if you'll notice, there is no badging on the side here for uh, the designer. And I think that is the uh, problem because it would have had like a Bertone badge on the side if it were uh, Gandini. Uh, but uh, uh, he actually took that design over to a company called Cizetta and they built the C16T using that design which is a really impressive car I think they only built about 10 of them though and I've seen one of them and it is really a striking car but it does have a lot of elements that you can see in the Diablo here uh, and uh, and it's but uh, this particular version is called the SE30 I'm sure the SE stands for Special Edition, and the 30 means that this is uh, from the 30th anniversary of Lamborghini itself. They built 150 of these, uh, and uh, primarily there were a few, you know, cosmetic things they did to it. Um, in particular, this uh, uh, slatted back window. And I think also these uh, slats here on the intakes. And I also bumped up the horsepower by about 25 horsepower to 525 horse. Now, as I said, this is an auto art model. And I bought this model to replace uh, my previous Diablo that I had. And I've had this model for, oh, at least 20 years. Uh, this is a uh, uh, Diablo by Barago and I just decided that I wanted something a little bit better. Got to show a nice model to you guys anyway. Uh, it just, you know, was lacking in some detail. Uh, you know, these door gaps here in particular on the top were pretty appalling. And so, uh, so I, and of course no side windows. And so I got the uh, auto art uh, for you guys to see. By the way, uh, like the Christmas tree, uh, Merry Christmas to you guys. Um, and uh, uh, well, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this model here. First of all, um, you know, let's just go ahead and enjoy this paint because I love this paint color. Um, I believe this was. Um, first introduced with the Diablo and uh, it's just such a striking color and the paint on this model is really great I mean it's uh, uh, it's just perfect uh, it has no orange peel or anything like that so a very well done uh, paint job on this model uh, when you take a look at the uh, detail on the wheels here and the tires again really really well done uh, you can see here that these are Pirelli P0 tires 
Um, the OZ rims are also badged as well as you can see. And uh, it even has valve stem. Uh, and then you can also see the drilled rotors behind the tires. So very good. And then there is, of course, that uh, slatted intake on the side there, which looks very good also. And the uh, rather comical opening portion of the side windows there, you know, I guess that'll allow you to get your hand out to toss change into the toll booth or something. That's about it. I mean, that's just, that's just ridiculous, honestly. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the front of this model here. Uh, again, some really uh, nice detail up here. The Lamborghini badge is excellent. The uh, fog lights and turn signals look really good. And uh, there is a little lever on the bottom here for you to uh, pop up the headlights, which also look quite excellent there. Those are really well detailed headlights. And uh, the uh, front trunk does open, so let me go ahead and show that to you there. And uh, really nice detail in here. It is flocked, and you can see the hood struts look really, really good. So there you go. That is uh, that is excellent there. I really like that detail in there. Okay, and um, let's see. You're taking a look at the uh, you know the windshield and the wipers again. Uh, that looks very good also. Okay, and uh, when we take a look at the rear here, uh, first of all, you'll see the. Uh, you know, 30th anniversary badging there on the left side, and then the Lamborghini Bull on the right. Tail lights look really good, and honestly, they are better uh, tail lights. Better, uh, I guess you'd say, um, they're better integrated into the rear fascia than the Lamborghini Countach's tail lights, which were, I think, the clumsiest part of the the appearance of the Countach. Uh, when you look at the uh, exhaust pipe, the quad exhaust, those look really, really good there too. And you can see uh, the uh, rear fog light as well as the uh, lower reflectors there too. So that all looks really good. And the rear wing looks great too. Okay, um, now um, this slatted engine cover I believe is also specific to the SC30 and that looks really good I'm sure it does nothing for your rear view visibility but I don't know if Lamborghini's ever designed a car with decent rear visibility uh, but it does cover up this lovely V12 motor which given the fact that it's called the SE30 is kind of Interesting when you think about the fact that this engine is essentially derived from the same three and a half liter engine of the original uh, Lamborghini 3500 GT from 30 years previously. I believe this was bored out to something like 5.2 or 5.3 liters, something like that. And of course, has way more horsepower. But again, really nice detail in there. You can see the bull there. You can also see the firing order uh, markings there as well for the 12 cylinders. So very good. And again, uh, they did a nice job with the engine hood struts there too. All right. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the interior here. And this interior does look really, really nice. So let me go ahead and get these doors open for you. And of course, you got your Lamborghini scissor doors. And uh, again, some really excellent detail in here too. So you've got uh, the pedals look really great. You can see the uh, carbon fiber trim on the center console as well as the shifter. Steering wheel looks excellent. Nice to see a steering wheel that just steers instead of having a bunch of other buttons on it. Pedals look really good, and then uh, the dash also looks great there, too, with the white gauges. 
Um, the seats, as you can see here, have fabric seat belts, uh, four point harness, as you can see there too, the uh, photo etched metal buckles and straps, and um, and then you can kind of get a better view of the center console from this side. So great, great detail in there too. Really, really happy with this model. So there you go. That is the Lamborghini Diablo SE30. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review, and if so, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And again, let me show you the Christmas tree so I can wish you a Merry Christmas. Goodbye now.